Uh, congratulations, Don. Um, a thousand games um, umpiring is an unbelievable achievement. Doing anything a thousand times is a pretty unbelievable achievement. So umpiring, giving back to a game you clearly love so much is something I take my hat off um, to you um, as one footballer to another. So good luck for, for the weekend and, and the achievement. And um, we'll just here at the Western Bulldogs throw our support behind you and commend you on your effort. Well done. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get the uh, night underway. For all those who want to know and those who don't want to know, my name's Herb Smith and I'll be emceeing Don's 1000 night. Welcome all along. Special welcomes to life members, returning members, Heather and Don's guests, current umpires and friends. Umpires don't have friends who put that bit in. Tim, is that you? Okay. Typo. A special welcome to uh, Greg Champion, who's along to entertain us for the night, and his wife Angela. And we have another VIP too, which is uh, Len Scurra, the president of the Mid Gippsland Football League. Oh, yeah, and thank you for your attendance, Len. <laughs> now, the next person that uh, I've got to welcome along is the bloke whose night it is tonight. And before I do, uh, everybody's said what a great job he's done for the last 1,000 games. But I think Don's got a special thank you to me for probably the last 20 years of his life. For those who know, the umpires do have a trip away each year. Don has his trip away each year, but not with the umpires, because he goes with his workmates. One subsidised, and one you have to pay for, so Don goes with his workmates. <laughs> the fortunate or unfortunate, the fortunate or unfortunate thing is that a lot of the occasions, Don ends up in the same place as us, very close to the same motels and we seem to run into each other. Now about 20 odd years ago, and I'd say it would be at least that, we happened to be in Yarrawonga. Uh, Saturday morning or close to lunchtime. I'm just trying to think what time I got up. <laughs> close to lunchtime. I happened to be walking down the uh, street of Yarrawonga hotel door was burst open and somebody said, Hey, you uh, poofter! <laughs> Anybody in uh, control of all their capabilities and uh, mind and everything like that would know anywhere else you should look to see who's about. There happened to be a 203 centimetre rugby league player who was on a football trip walking down in the opposite direction. It's marvellous at that time. Two things go through your mind. Do I just keep walking and look at the results later on? He would have shit been out of me. I tell you, he would have been a mess or say, no, it's all right, mate, he's talking to me. <laughs> Unfortunately, kindness got the better of me. It was a ladder and Don, 20 years ago, by oh, geez, you're lucky to be here, mate. He was a big boy, wasn't he? <laughs> Anyhow, I'd like to uh, say special congratulations to Don on a thousand games and welcome me along tonight and I'd like you to all put your hands together for Don. The format for the evening is to go to the bar whenever you need to. Uh, second credential is to sign Don's banner and his card. There will be video cameras going around. Record a message. You do have the bleeper, I think, John, don't you? You, you will, because I, unfortunately there will probably be a few nasty ones. And uh, also on the bar is some raffle tickets too, if, you, if you'd uh, like to, if you haven't seen them, if you would like to buy some raffle tickets. Uh, they're run by the uh, Gippsland panel this year and go out to all the others, but it is for a special call. Uh, young Bo Vernon from uh, Lee and Gather Football Club is had an unfortunate mishap a few weeks ago and uh, is at present in hospital, quadriplegic. So look, um, if you can extend your uh, charity to that and buy a raffle ticket, 
I think you end up a night out with Don White. <laughs> <laughs> From that. Okay. Anyhow, there will be a DVD put together for tonight too. So put your messages on. I'd like to, at this point of time, read out there is some apologies and um, and be thankful, Don. We did get rent a crowd today. Uh, <laughs> most of them running members, and uh, I'll just read through the names: Ben Beck, Alex Cooper, Ray Davis, David Drain, Margie Esler, Neville Esler. Michael Jonkers, John Masiglio, Wilson Maslin, Harry Maxwell, Alan Mayer, Malcolm McClellan, Shane Minard, David Palmer, Steve Paulu, Greg Ross, Mark Smith, Rob Treron, Anthony Van Bruegel, Jerry Varro, Roger Reeves, and Kevin Laity. Okay, at this point of time, we uh, have some letters through, and uh, I'll just read the first couple out, and then if I could ask our uh, special guest, Greg Champion, to come up and read a couple from some of our uh, local members. Uh, it says, Don White's dinner. Oh, this is the first thing you've ever shouted, Whitey. <laughs> shark, shark. Ah. <laughs> I'm assuming you may be master of ceremonies on the night. You may want to use the following notes as an icebreaker. Oh, this is to Tim. Oh, to Tim. Tim, do you want me to put on your voice, Tim? Are you right? Yeah, Happy you with what? I, okay. Good. Could pass on our apologies, apologies, and hope, and we hope, it is a memorable night for Don after achieving a wonderful milestone. Also, these are the best wishes from the following people I've met in my travels up here at Swan Reach. There was a gentleman from the NZA pub, Don who says, well done, and sorry about the bunch of fives he gave you after the game. <laughs> Something about mistaken identity. <laughs> you, you, know, you look nothing like lions or chipper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you three fight it out later, right? Oh, I copped it, don't worry. And finally, the brothers from Bruven, Bruven want to toast you at the pub, but it's your shout and they still have their pots. <laughs> Is that from Turkey? Well, have a good night. You deserve it. A thousand games multiplied by how many stubbies. Hell, you should own a brewery by now. <laughs> All the best, Harry and Marg Maxwell. Oh, <laughs> the other one's from Brian McKenzie, the president of the uh, Gippsland uh, Football League. Sorry I cannot be there tonight to acknowledge your great achievement. A thousand games, a fantastic effort. I remember when I was coaching the Moe under 18s in the mid 80s, for some reason, I was always happy when you turned up to umpire. There was one, see I told you. <laughs> <laughs> on that theme, you are the one person in footy who would take it, oh, sorry, on reflection, I think it was more about your interaction with the players and explaining your decisions than the win-loss ratio. On that theme, we are the one person in footy who could take up a, a media role in the future, given your outstanding commentary on the game to players and spectators when you're officiating. <laughs> Enjoy the night, Don. Well done. The game is richer because of your long-standing commitment to umpiring. P.S. I have also admired your rock and roll dancing at the presentation nights. <laughs> Brian McKenzie, Chairman of the Gibson League. <laughs> I'm going to ask Greg if you would come up and read the, uh, the other two there. From the sound of the long list of apologies, there must be a 21st on at the RSL tonight. <laughs> so are these are the ones I'm reading? Here we go. Dear Don, I wish to congratulate you on umpiring your thousandth game of football. What an extraordinary performance and no doubt your achievement will be received across the community. I think all acknowledge umpiring is a difficult vocation. It's a vocation, Don. And for one to participate, it's recreation, is it? One to participate in so many games over so many years is simply incredible. Without the contribution of people such as yourself, Don, a great game can't proceed. Not only have you been a wonderful umpire, but a great character. And this is reflected across the community. You've always been approachable and indeed extremely accommodating and friendly to players, coaches and staff of all teams. And the friendly banter has always been an important tribute to the, that you've had. In fact, you've been too approachable, Don, and too many times you got smashed with the players. 
Let's not wait, Don. I made that up. Sorry. Oh, I won the bus when I missed the goal. <laughs> From a personal perspective, I have many fond memories of games in which we have participated, and despite my own admissions of colourful language towards the men in white on the odd occasion, we're always able to speak with respect post-match. Don, it's difficult to summarise the extraordinary performance of a thousand games, but I think the following words in part encapsulate Don White, the man in white. Respected, durable legend and a man of great character and integrity. I could add two pot screamer. <laughs> He has written this, Don, not me. And a long-suffering doggy man, but that might not be fair in the context of this letter. So, Don, on behalf of myself and the community in general, a sincere well done on just a sensational effort and contribution. I'm sure your family, friends and colleagues are extremely proud of you. Rightly so. Best regards. Uh, this is here. Uh, uh, um, President Obama. <laughs> No, sorry, Russ, Russell North, MLA, Diane. <laughs> and this one's signed by the Queen, Don. <laughs> Dear Don, I'm writing to congratulate you on your dedicated work with the Trove Valley Umpires Association. To notch up umpiring a thousand games is magnificent. I know you've had a wonderful association with many clubs and a, and a dodgy association with quite a few others. <laughs> made that up too, Doc. And obviously enjoyed your com commitment to umpiring. To this end, there are many who have greatly admired your contribution over the years and have applauded your hard work and professionalism. A uh, number of have questioned your professionalism, but uh, <laughs> we've managed to shut them up tonight. Whilst, uh, I'm sorry, I'm making it up, Don. Whilst dirty players, oh, now this, I'm not making up. Whilst dirty players such as Russell North have verbalised you over the years, <laughs> I for one never stoop to this level. In fact, I actually want to personally thank you for your great umpiring, particularly at the end of the match when you were awarded 3, 2 and 1. Otherwise, how would I have won the true award and Rodda medal? Personal kind regards, Peter Hall, MLC. <laughs> such a good job, I should uh, should have got you an ounce of soups on too, but just, if if you do find anything floating around, I think Whitey got in the kitchen with his first pair of boots too, I think they're in the soup, so it shouldn't be too bad, pick the laces out, and you know, there won't be much mud on them, he never got them dirty. Okay, the soup will be served.